Well, a short time ago, I spoke to Dr. Ahmed Hanka from Muslim Engagement and Development, an organization which challenges Islamophobia. This wasn't an attack on the Muslim community. This was an attack on Britain and all of British people. As a Muslim community, we are devastated, we are indignant, and we are outraged. And sadly, we had a foreboding that something tragic like this would happen. If you look at the data, in 2014 and 2015, for example, there were 3,250 cases of religious and racist hate crime reported in the Humber and Yorkshire region. 630 of those cases were anti-Muslim hate crimes. Are people here worried about that rise in Islamophobia that we've seen in those statistics? Well, I mean, certainly um, the Secretary General of the Muslim Council of Britain, um, Harun Khan, and an imam in Leeds Mecca Mosque, um, they have asked for increased security in mosques in Leeds because of uh, concerns that uh, the Muslim community have. I mean, this is the holy month of Ramadan. There are congregations of Muslims gathering in mosques to offer their tarawih prayer, and we do feel like we're an easy target, and we do feel like we're vulnerable. So I think an increased police presence would allay some of those concerns and some of those anxieties that Muslims in Leeds and Yorkshire have. And how do you think the wider issue of, of Islamophobia can be tackled? Well, I think if you take into consideration what Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn said about uh, linking UK foreign policy with terrorism here at home, uh, we, we have to take that into consideration, we have to act upon that, and um, also the Prime Minister Theresa May emphatically explained that terrorism breeds terrorism. So there are factors uh, such as foreign policy, such as the demonization of Muslims in the media, these all collude and conspire to heighten levels of Islamophobia. In other news tonight,